One out, one on. Bottom of the second inning. No score. Braves and Yankees from Cool Today Park. And he smashes one deep to right. This one hangs high in the sky. Drifting back, Ambergi. Kiss that one goodbye. Johan Camargo puts one over the right field wall, and it's 2-0 Braves. baseball household I had two older brothers that's it just drove me to love this game I love it I love how much work goes into this game how, much, how many different areas this game you have to be good at my oldest brother played uh, college baseball uh, my middle brother played baseball pretty much all the way into high school so um, that's all we did I mean we played basketball we played I played football for a couple of years um, that didn't last very long my dad didn't want me to do that so uh, golf is big in our family, so it's just always been sports, and you know, I, I, I think baseball was our first love for all of us. <laughs> I love this game. My dad made me love this game. between those lines, uh, you, you can just kind of just take your mind off and let, let it happen. For the first few days of practice complete, the Braves are ready to take the field for the first time in 2020. use this as a time to get in their reps while other players are still fighting for a spot on the roster so the first from Felix and we are underway in Northport and down low for ball one a lot of breaking stuff and he's always had that pitch in his arsenal yeah like I said this is I thought it was a great pickup and the fact that it, it's low risk you're not putting a lot of money out there and you got a guy that's you know got dynamic pitches it's like we said can he stay healthy and and you know what does he have left Chop toward third. First chance for Camargo, who has that rocket arm, and he handles Hayes. And a ground ball out for Felix Hernandez. Gets things started in Northport. Come 
como tú quieras. Mira como tú quieras. Está loco. Esto es la mano tuya. Oh boy, Frederick. Still the most fun part about baseball, I know. Because you can do it every day, you can do it all the time, you know? You can't. We only have a certain amount of bullets every day, especially this bullpen day or like today. I'm on my third day before starting, I'm taking it easy. But you can swing every day. It sounds good. It's a good feeling when the ball goes far. Hasn't happened in a game yet, but it might. Whatever you guys do get, just make sure your trunks are Yeah, walk up. Yeah, I got that. Uh, it's the Ronald Acuna bat. Is it? Yeah. Well, no, he uses a 33 and a half. So an extra half minute. Need that Ronald Acuna wood. Give ourselves the best chance possible. Thanks, T. <laughs> Live BP, boys. Four, five, six, seven, again. Yes, sir. Oh, front door? Yeah, he is. You got some good guys. Yeah. His sliders are like a new pitch too. He just started throwing it last year. No, it was, it was really, really yeah. Good. Game changer. I would have swung at that in a game. And game changer. It or rolled it over one of the two. Yeah. So the live BP for the most part is it's uh, that step in between throwing bullpens and getting into an actual game. But it's just like a little stepping stone right before you get into the game to ramp up intensity, get a little more adrenaline, so you don't just go from you know just a normal bullpen like this into straight into a game. Nice two zero pitch, Max. That a boy. Hit, hitters count, right? Hitters count. Yeah, not anymore. No such thing. I, I wish I got to watch more of their live BPs, but they kind of happen on separate schedules, separate days, right? So, um, no, I mean, Max has always been pretty electric. I don't, I don't think that's a surprise to any of us. Um, it's always nice to see him go out there and spin some and, and definitely make some batters look foolish, especially in spring training when their, their eyes haven't seen that in a few months. Oh boy, Maxie. Outstanding, brother. How'd that look compared to the heater? Same. For me, I've always been extremely competitive. I've always loved the competition part of any anything to see, you know, if my best is good enough to be able to go up to against your best. That's kind of what I love about pitching. I treat everything like a competition, and I, I've always kind of had that. Uh, I was always getting in trouble in gym class because, you know, I was going too hard, you know, I was throwing the dodgeball too hard, I was, I guess you could call it violent in, uh, in basketball and stuff like that, but I wanted to win. It's, it's a kind of a mano a mano atmosphere every single time, it's just you against the hitter and, you know, I'm going to give you my best stuff and you're going to give me yours and we're going to see who comes out on top. The best feeling is, a, you know, a swing and a miss and, and just beating a guy. Obviously you're not trying to throw the ball down the middle, but sometimes when you pull back for a little extra and, and, and you win that and you kind of, like I always say, put them in the ground. That's what's fun. When you're on a roll and, and you know you're better and you're executing every single time to make sure, uh, that's the fun part for me. As a pitcher, you only have so much control over what happens. So knowing that You've got guys behind you that can make spectacular plays, they're gonna make the routine plays, that they're gonna make, you know, unbelievable plays and they're locked in and they take pride in the work that they do. It's better off for everyone. MB, I just want to do all my Forget about it, we're like, actually gonna work. Yeah, yeah, two work. strikes, I'm like, come back to the other side. Rolling, we don't even get that next year. Rolling. Okay. Rolling. 
You'll take it in his own friends. Mark it. All right, Braves play ball demo. Mark. Hey, friend. Thank you, man. Look, I got. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I'm getting a little excited. <laughs> but look, we, fellas, we want to talk about the comp, you know, the, the communication and how you guys, you know, come across this bag. Look, I played first in the outfield. This is totally different for me, so the communication has to be on point, right? Yeah, it's almost, I, I don't look as much about, like, where I'm trying to hit him on the chest, because I know if I just put over the bag, yeah. it's gonna like, the bad. bag is almost my reference point, and I know it's like, this way it's front corner, and if I'm throwing, it's back corner. That's it. That's it. So, like, my so, biggest thing is, you just need to figure out where you launch from, land in that good position, and just learn how to turn from there, because, if you if you try and turn this way, right. you're gonna be late. If you try and go this way, if you can figure out how to go from here that to there, ball. that's it. You'll A be set. B. Yeah. You good. And swats it in the air to left field. That ball is hit well. Ozuna looks up, and that's down off the wall. Hamilton scores the tying run. It's a double for Dansby Swanson. Wow. What a I love playing baseball at a high level because that's all I've ever expected out of myself is to play at the highest level, but play at a high level at the highest level. Ever since I can remember, I've been on a baseball field or basketball court. My mom, uh, we can, we pretty much all agree that she was the best athlete in our family. She could throw BP, hit ground balls. We did, like, we called it the short hop game when I was a kid in the living room. If I'm playing with somebody and competing with somebody, I always try and treat everyone as family and, you know, with love, that's kind of, uh, what I feel like makes me me. A lot of hard lessons along the way, but uh, slowly but surely, you know, getting over that hump to, uh, um, you know, really thrive. So, For sure. So when he's always with me, I go this way all the time. Mm -hmm. But when he's flipping it, like, just flip the ball to me. I like to go, I'll go, go across. Yeah. yeah, I try and, like, flip it to that inside corner. There you go. So, so if I'm flipping, I always flip it that way. Because exactly. I know he's going across. Okay. But we we'll always go that way. He's but throwing, if I'm throwing, I throw I it back. And you push off. Yeah. Yes. I try and I try and like lead him back this way. Because that's his best way to release. I know and, and I know it's not gonna be perfect all the time. So right. Time, just put it over here. I'll I'll work my way from it. You go and do baseball mode. So you concentrate and do what you have to do that day to learn from it. Every day you're learning. I started playing when I was five years old, but one of my friends at home told me, let's go to the baseball field. I didn't want to go first. And since the first day I went to the baseball field, I never left. Swing and a hot shot toward the gap. That's going to get down. Braves win it. This game is so much fun. I think I just was born to play this game. When I'm flipping, I always flip here to him. Because okay. I, like I like to be able to go this way Got you. to turn so I can clear myself. You are already so if it's there. on this side for yeah. me, I have a hard time getting out. Yeah. It kind of leads me into the bag a little bit where obviously the slides are coming. Right. Right. So I'll just flip, it, flip, throw, I just put it on the corner of that bag. Because then I like to it. turn this way. Gotcha. That's what I like. So it helps me get my space. Get space, yeah. yep. you get that throw. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a family. We play hard, we enjoy about each other, we feed off each other, we talk a lot of good, good things to each other, and we just enjoy every single moment we have together. You know, I appreciate your time, man. Awesome. Have a great year. I'll be thanking my man. Thank you. Hey, roll for awesome. I can't give you no more than that, man. But I'm going to talk this, bro. Shepard watches this ball sail out to a right. Williams near the line. Back pedals. Makes the catch. Ozzie tags. He's heading home. Head first slide by Ozzie Albies. Just did beat the throw of Williams on a bang bang play at the plate. There's, there's something to be said for being a brave. I mean, we are a little different. And it's all things for me that there was some Hall of Famers that were very important to this organization, to me personally, that put a lot into this and, and getting it to where it's at, this organization. And I said, there's a lot of flags flying by a couple of Hall of Famers that, that insisted on that. And you respect the, the, that A on the front of that hat. And um, I don't know, I mean, some people might think it's it's, it's a little too much, maybe. I don't. I, I just think that's a respect for the game and your organization.
when the year's over, I want them to look back and it's been a good experience for them, I guess is, is usually what I want because I'm all about them. I mean, I'm, the players are why we're there, why we're doing it, and they're there what make this whole thing fun, and, and I enjoy the heck out of them. That's your chest. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. That's on me. What about that? Chest. And I talk about Ozzy Albies, the makeup is off the charts. Can't teach that. It's, it's that stuff right? that, okay. you know, it, it was just like all the guys that we had, the Jeff Blousers, Mark Lemke's, um, Chipper Jones, all, all those guys. They had Tom Glavin, John Smith. The makeup was off the charts with these guys. Mm. I mean, you know, you could carry a conversation with them. They were mature. They loved to play. The competitiveness in them was unbelievable. The guys were different. You remember? Oh, the, 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 the one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the one I got, the <laughs> yeah. single to tie the game. Yeah. That was one of the best moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I better a lot with him. You did a lot of special things last year, right-handed. That, that, but that was, I think, my favorite. Yeah, that slide he keep throwing it, throwing it, throwing it. <laughs> then tried to boom me with the fastball. That was so sweet. Yeah. No, 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 y yo cogí un slump y tú diste doble, no, sí, tú diste doble ah, y tú sí, buscando el bate, el que tenía azul, right blanco hand. y rojo, y tú buscando, y yo en el hombre así. Y I Maybe I should let him come. Why not? Akuno doesn't have a license. Hey, ask me if he's got a golf cart license. Made. Hey, do you have a license for golf cart? No. And he smashes one deep to right. This one hangs high in the sky, drifting back and Berge. Kiss that one goodbye. Johan Camargo puts one over the right field wall and it's 2-0 Braves. You know, as these guys get older, they're going to get stronger, they're going to mature as, as, as players, as people. Everything they've gone through is going to do nothing but make them stronger this year. It's all about growing. Um, I never just want to stay in the same place. I, want to, I always want to keep moving, so, you know, we put in the work every day to do that. You understand that when you're playing at the best competition level uh, that there is, you're going to get beat, but it's a matter of being able to keep that attitude every single time. There is always somebody that's looking up to you as, oh, he's my role model. He's going to work hard because he wants to be better than you, not just like you. So you got to know that every day you got to work hard to be, stay, maintain yourself up there and be consistent with what you do best. You got to keep that competitive edge because if you, if you slack a little bit, you're going to get passed up on. A lot of times I think like this. Anything can happen in baseball. It's a thrill. It, it, it's fun. Yeah, let's get it. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Behind the Braves. Click the link below to have a chance to win two free tickets to opening day.